recognize, see these objectively as demons attacking you. You're being attacked right now by the demons that were pacified and stifled. They were pacified because as long as you smoke weed, they, they're like, okay, you know what? He's, he's, at least he's being a degenerate, right? We got him right where we want him. He's losing his soul every time he smokes. And now you stop smoking and they're like, ah, oh, man, we got to get him. So they all start rising to the surface as well. So they're attacking you from within the ones that we were holding down and the ones that were watching you while you were smoking weed, they're attacking you from without. So it's like the ones that were underneath that you were holding down, they're coming up and they're attacking you. And the ones that were watching you and they were glorying in you being a degenerate smoking weed, now they're like, we gotta get them with something else. So you're getting attacked from all angles. You're getting attacked from all angles, bro. Yo, Elliot. Yes, you can join me again this weekend. You know, you remind me of someone who just quit smoking weed. You got to let it all settle, dude. I remember speaking to you last week and you you just quit weed. You, 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 and right now, your brain is going to be scrambled. Why does that happen? Because all the demons come attacking with their best weapons right when you're trying to get your life right. All the things that you have been suppressing by smoking weed are coming to the surface now. It's like this. You ever see like a, imagine you take like a beach ball and you at the beach and you take that beach ball and you push it down under the water and you hold it there, right? And you hold that water, you hold it there. You holding that, that beach ball under the water is kind of like holding your, holding all the fears and, and all the, you know, the, 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 the things that irritate you and that you're worried about down. And then when you stop smoking weed, it's like you take your hand off and it comes to the surface. And now, not only comes to the surface, it skyrockets up, it comes up with a whole bunch of water spurting and you got to deal with it all at once. And so I just want to remind you right now, I know, I see you acknowledge that I'm, I know I'm right. <laughs> I know I'm right. Cause I've been there. Um, let yourself be recognize, see these objectively as demons attacking you. You're being attacked right now by the demons that were pacified and stifled. They were pacified because as long as you smoke weed, they, they're like, okay, you know what? He's, he's, at least he's being a degenerate, right? We got him right where we want him. He's losing his soul every time he smokes. And now you stop smoking and they're like, ah, oh, man, we got to get them. So they all start rising to the surface as well. So they're attacking you from within the ones that we were holding down and the ones that were watching you while you were smoking weed, they're attacking you from without. So it's like the ones that were underneath that you were holding down, they're coming up and they're attacking you. And the ones that were watching you and they were glorying in you being a degenerate smoking weed. Now they're like, we got to get them with something else. So you're getting attacked from all angles. You're getting attacked from all angles, bro. So give yourself, like I said, you, your situation, give yourself six months. Give yourself at least six months to start trusting your thoughts again. Don't trust your thoughts right now. They're not your thoughts. Don't trust your feelings right now. They're not your feelings. Don't take any wild action about anything uh, don't confront anybody about anything. Don't do anything big right now because you cannot trust yourself right now. Just pray. Ask God to protect you and to guide you and to be a weapon against this demonic attack and to give you the strength to continue through and amend your life. So, you know, it's not that I don't want to, it's not that I don't want to deal with your questions because even your first question betrays you a little bit. Um, and your second one definitely betrays you. This, this is, this is weed thought. This is weed thought. This is, this is, uh, this is the, the, the brain fog and fear associated with withdrawal. And so let yourself be. Let yourself be and ignore these things. Recognize them for what they are. And look, all weather is local. That means like whatever's happening on the world stage is not happening in your backyard. Yeah. Yeah. 
So you don't even know yourself. You don't even know yourself yet. When you stop smoking weed, it's going to be amazing. You'll finally get to know yourself again. And then I say give it at least six months. After that six months and you know yourself again, then you'll be able to discern these questions much better. You'll, have, you, you'll be in a better footing to deal with these situations. So I hope that helps, dude. Yo, it's your bro Elliot Hulse here. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives in fitness, business, and with women. If you're interested in joining a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G. And then me and my team, we'll get back to the details and see if you qualify. I hope to see you at our next session. Done.